It all started around 6.56 Wednesday night when police received reports of a shooting at Spare Time Recreation Bowling Alley. Then just minutes later at 7.08 p.m., dispatchers received 911 calls about a shooter at Shemengi's Bar and Grill four miles away. Video showed people running from the scenes. Less than an hour later at 8.06, police released this photo of the shooter from surveillance footage, walking into Spare Time with an assault rifle. Later, sharing this picture of a white Subaru they believe he was driving. At 8.09, nearby Bates College was placed on lockdown. After that, Auburn and Lewiston residents were ordered to shelter in place around 8.30 as hundreds of officers started a manhunt. Meantime, loved ones of the victims gathered outside of Central Maine Medical Center. Friends are here, we're all waiting, and we've heard nothing. They won't tell us if he's alive. If he's in critical condition, if he's passed, they won't tell us anything. At 926, police got a call identifying the shooter as 40-year-old Robert Card of Bowdoin. At 956, officers were notified they found the white Subaru belonging to Card at a boat launch in Lisbon, but not him. Then at 1152, Lisbon residents were ordered to shelter in place. Police holding a press conference warning the public of the danger. Card is considered armed and dangerous. He is a person of interest, however, and that's what we'll uh, label in that uh, moving forward until that changes. If people see him, they should not approach Card or make contact with him in any way. A reunification center was opened at Auburn Middle School where some got good news and others got the news they feared. She's still in shock. I think we're all in shock. I think us as a community are. Through the night, police continued their search. At 6 o'clock in the morning, Bowdoin residents were ordered to shelter in place. Then at 10.30 Thursday morning, police confirmed 18 people were killed and 13 others were injured in the shooting. But the search continues for the suspect. This is a dark day for me. I know it's hard for us to think about healing when our hearts are broken. But I want every person in Maine to know that we will heal.